Hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Mac Daddy Reviews. I hope you missed me while I was gone, because I missed me. And if you didn't miss me, well let me give you a chance to miss me. Today, I'm reviewing a wonderful drum machine that we call Patterning 2. Say it with me. Patterning 2. Let's begin. Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Um, so there is a Patterning of course, the original version of the app, and that was a fantastic app. I loved it. And um, we see a couple of things in the uh, update of Patterning 2. Um, we still have the usual uh, sequencer here. Uh, I call it a ray dial sequencer. I'm sure it has some sort of name that's better, but uh, I like to sound educated sometimes. So radio sequencer it is. Let's start off with a kick. Let's Go ahead and hit the play button. There we go. A nice bounce. Now, um, one of the things that stands out to me about patterning and patterning too is the velocity. Uh, as you see, is is very responsive. It's very responsive. I mean, I don't know. Uh, a lot of other music making apps that I've used, the velocity is is it's not so. Um, What's the word? It's not so uh, discernible. Uh, I don't know if it jumps out to you, but like, oh, we got a good heartbeat going on, don't we? All right, I like that. And it's so fast, too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and it really comes alive, right? Alright, let's put some shaker in there and see what we get. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Let's go ahead and throw this earthquake sound. I don't know what that is. Let's just... Oh, it's an 808. <laughs> That's what it is. It's an 808. You heard that? Okay, okay, okay. So for that, also too, um, one of the cool features about it is you can quickly double up. That was one thing that I didn't like about patterning one. Uh, patterning two, you can quickly double up. So let's put it on the one. On the one. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. Now let's double it up again. Let's give it four pages. Now if I double up again, it's going to put the note on the one and the two. Y'all see that? No respect. No respect. Okay. No problem, though. No problem. Okay. Let's double that up. On the fourth one, let's do pretty dope now one thing that i didn't like about patterning the original edition is the uh sequencer it forced you to use the sequencer the sequencer is beautiful it's great it allows you to get some ideas down really quickly but if i had like a feeling uh i wanted to express it wasn't the most intuitive way for me to input those notes so um i love what they've done and they've added this fun little uh i guess a uh, drum pad you know uh, for lack of a better word, and it's really easy to use. Let's, let's go ahead and make a brand new beat. We just press that button. Here we go. We have a B section now. Let's get our metronome going. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We got that metronome going. Let's let's put some bump in it. Let's go. Let's hit the record button. All right. up like I just did. It's really simple to clear it on out. Let's go ahead and bring it back in. Uh -huh. I don't know why it's doing that. I guess it's got a, a mute there that's triggering from that closed hat. That's going to be my best guess. 
Velocity is something that I really will subconsciously do. Like, I, I would put too much thought into it. But um, because the velocity is so responsive and patterning, too, it's really led me to uh, explore my creativity uh, dealing with velocity a lot more. So I guess, like, I'll, I'll make theories about velocity now as opposed to just playing it and be like, oh, I guess that was a 86 velocity. Oh, that was 127. Now I'll be like, let me do a little crescendo up and... Uh, let me uh, bring them down. Let me, you know, it, all I can say is it translates to a very nice bounce. It's really easy to uh, import whole folders at a time. So for those of you with massive sample collections, you'll be pleased. You basically just go to import here. You go to your files. And uh, I put a lot of my other files, my sample files that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in a BeatMaker 3 folder. So here I have some weapons of bass destruction, drums that knock. Yeah, that's right. I'm one of the first. One and two. Can you dig that? Shout out to my man's decap. A lot of dope samples in there. Kick ass, my pen pads. All right, enough of my secret sauce. Let's get out of there. Um, of course, you have your attack, decay, hold settings, course tuning, fine tuning, your choke groups. Let's take a look and see if any of my choke groups were activated. Yep, just as I suspected. So, yeah, that, that closed hi-hat and that open hi-hat were on the choke group one. Mixer's the same as in patterning, patterning, you know, no big improvement there. Overall, same. Same with the uh, effects page where you can set your delay and your reverb, your EQ, your distortion, wet and dry ratios. When you set these uh, effect settings, you actually are going to bust them over from the main mixer in order to activate those onto the sounds that you prefer. Um, it's got a MIDI learn feature, so basically everything is completely uh, customizable and mappable to whatever hardware that you may be using. I might, uh, I might have to look into this more. I mean, I haven't really played with the MIDI learn function, but. Yeah, I see a lot of potential for uh, looping and, and making songs on the fly. Because for me, it's all about the improvisation. You know, being able to just take your, your feelings and, and just put them out there. Just paint your canvas without taking the time to be technical. You know, left click, drag, right click, drag. I, 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 it just kills the process for me. Um, anyway, I guess this is the point where I uh, give my uh, rating. Okay, so I'm going to give that. You know what? I'm going to give it a 10. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, you know? And uh, when I give ratings like that, when I give sky high ratings, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't like to just put them out there all over the place, you know? I don't like them to be few in between. Like, a lot of 10s become nice for me just for the simple fact that I don't want to exceed my 10 quota, you know? Like, like there can only be so many 10s. And um, 
usually when I take away that, that point and they get that nine, it's because there's some sort of feature in here that I really, really wish I had or really, really wish that I wanted. And um, the only limitation I can see with this drum machine is that you only get eight samples, which makes a lot of sense when you're using the uh, sequencer. But, you know, I mean, I guess it, it can't have everything, but it, it would be really awesome if I could somehow um, add more pads or maybe I can just uh, work around that by switching to another drum kit. And uh, having them both play at the same time. That would be something pretty awesome. Uh, well, that's it. That's my review. Uh, always hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know, go ahead and give it a download. See if you like it. I know you'll love it. Get down in them comments and tell me why it's awesome. Tell me why it sucks. Tell me if I'm going too slow or too fast. You know, talk some of that shit, you know. I'm here for it. I can take it. I can take it. Yo, seriously, don't be too harsh on me, man. I'm a sensitive man. I'm an artist. Till next time.